one point it seemed like you were kind of grabbing the right leg a little bit and you kind of mouthed people on the sideline, this isn't me. But how did you feel today being in your house, being back here? I mean, you know, coming back to Florida State, um, around your people, your family, it feels good. You know, I just wanted to come out here and show that I like to compete and like to do, like to play football, you know. Did you feel like yourself today? No, I did not, but I got through it. Why didn't you feel like yourself today? Um, I tweaked my hamstring like three days ago. Um, I really wasn't supposed to be out here, but you know, I did some l little bit of rehab, you know, warmed it up a little bit, you know, I just fought through the pain. Any specific, any specific drills you feel like you could have better on? Um, I know all my routes. I think I could have did better on. They say they were smooth, but you know, I know myself could have been way smoother. And um, that was the only part. And the drills, I thought I did very well and it was very smooth. Yeah, the hamstring was was a reason. I was gonna do everything over, but the hamstring came up a few days ago, and it just kind of slowed me down. How frustrating was it to get that injury right before today? I mean, it was real frustrating because I was in the indoor, you know, just running routes, doing some cardio, getting ready for today, and um, I was running a corner out, and I stuck to the corner, and my so it just felt like somebody poked me in my hamstring. I just knew something was wrong with it. It's my first time ever putting my hamstring, so it doesn't feel too good. Did you get the opportunity to meet with any of the scouts? Oh, yes, I did. Who did you meet with? Um, met with the um, Seahawks, the 49ers, the Lions, um, the Colts. Hey, Juan, could you just kind of talk about, I don't know, you were an underclassman. Were you in the pack of <laughs> players that came and watched the guys, you know, Derwin, Jalen? Um, just talk about the history. It's crazy because it just felt like I was on the sideline, you know, yesterday watching, watching the guys like Derwin, Alden Tate, Tavares, you know, and now I'm out here performing, you know, getting an opportunity to show off my talents. And it just, it just amazes me because um, time flies, you know, just love, it's, it's what I like to do. Um, I think it's a lot of people sleeping on people here in Tallahassee. It's a lot of talent on Florida State football team. We always have good talent come out every year. And um, just look at the NFL, you know. It's a lot of guys from Florida State, just big names, you know, Jalen Ramsey, Duran James, Devontae Freeman, Tevin Smith. All those guys is, you know, helping us um, to get where we need to go. Did you, did you have the option to have, like, James or DeAndre throw to you today? Or um, I had to find my own quarterback. It was going to be James, but, you know, he's still in college, so it was going to mess up his eligibility. So I just found my own quarterback. He plays arena football. Ultimately, how do you want to be remembered for your time here in Florida State? People talk about Nikon Murray and James. A guy who leave it all on the field, you know, love his teammates, just love playing football. Regardless of the hamstring injury, I mean, what are you telling scouts about when they ask you what kind of person you are, what kind of athlete they're getting? <clears throat> I mean, um, type of person I am, I'm an outgoing person. You know, I love my teammates. I love football. And, like, I love it so much. I've been playing all my life. I'm very passionate. You know, I love to compete. And um, I'm just one of those dudes on the field that just make plays, you know, excite the crowd, excite the team, you know, turn everybody up. What's the biggest thing you're going to take away from your time at Florida State? Um, use your time wisely. Um, you know, being a freshman, a sophomore, you know, growing up, just had to find a, find a way how to use my time wisely and just not just play the game all day. You know, I love video games, but uh, just just do just do things that that benefits me and you know just going in the right direction. Anybody else?